NVChat is the top-rated NeoVim configuration on GitHub, boasting 22K stars and surpassing SpaceVim and LunarVim. Its popularity among developers can be attributed to its unique Base46 plugin, which offers 68 different themes. Having previously worked with SpaceVim and AstroVim, I find NVChad to be the most visually appealing NeoVim configuration available. Its aesthetic draws inspiration from Doom Emacs, while its speed mirrors that of LunarVim. NVShad boasts a blazingly fast startup time, ranging between 20 to 70 milliseconds. Currently, I have installed the AstroVim configuration on my system. Let's move the AstroVim configuration to a safe place and delete the local packages. Next, we'll install NVChad by cloning the start repository inside the NeoVim configuration directory. Finally, we will open NeoVim. As soon as we open NeoVim, all the plugins will be installed automatically by default. We can see that all plugins are loaded and working fine. NVShad comes with the Mason plugin to manage language servers, linters, and code formatters. We can use the Mason install command to install any language server we want. Since we are going to edit a few Lua files, we need the Lua language server. If we hit enter now, we can see the language server being installed. Let's open the NVChad configuration files and perform some customization. The line numbers provided are not relative to cursor position. To modify this option, we need to make changes inside the options.lua file. Let's attempt to install a new plugin. NVCAD offers a plugins directory for this purpose, where we can place the new plugin within this table. We will install the hop plugin which serves as an efficient alternative to easy motions. To do this, we'll add the plugin name and options here. We require a custom key binding for this plugin. We can use the combination of leader and FJ to hop anywhere within the current buffer. Let's restart NeoVim. We'll observe that NVChat has detected the configuration change and installed the hop plugin. Let's open a buffer to test this change. If we press the leader key followed by FJ, we'll see labels around every word in the current buffer. To jump to a specific word, we can press the corresponding label, and we'll be directed there. Additionally, please note that the line numbers are relative to the cursor position. NVChad comes with 68 different themes powered by a natively written base, 46 plugin. We can press space and TH to trigger the theme switcher. This will bring up the theme selection dialog. Notice that the theme switcher is integrated with telescope. We can set the desired theme and exit. Also, the status line we are seeing here is a natively integrated plugin of NVShad. NVChad has been integrated with a highly customizable NVim tree. Pressing G and the question mark brings up all key bindings supported by NVim tree. Pressing the A key allows us to specify a path to a file, which will create both the folder and the file in one shot. Pressing the C key copies a file, while pressing P pastes the copied file. When pasting a file, we need to provide the name of the new file. Pressing the D key deletes a file. NVChad is integrated with the NVTerm plugin, which allows us to open a terminal in different modes, including floating, horizontal, and vertical. We can press the leader key in V to open the terminal vertically. Alternatively, we can press the leader key and H to open the terminal horizontally. The autocompletion provided here is loaded through the NVM completion plugin. This autocompletion is highly customized to integrate with the currently selected theme as well as with icons. To search for a file, we can trigger telescope by pressing the leader key followed by F twice. This action will bring up the Telescope Find Files view. We can then enter the name of the file, and Telescope will search through the currently open project and locate the file. Alternatively, we can type the leader key followed by FW to perform a live grep for files. We can enter the search term, and Telescope will live grep files in the project. We have three open buffers visible here. Pressing the Tab key allows us to iterate through buffers forward while pressing Shift plus Tab allows us to iterate through buffers backward. To close the current buffer, press Leader plus X 
or to open a new buffer, press leader plus B. As NV Shad is a minimal configuration, you'll need to create your own mappings to close all buffers or close all buffers except the currently selected one. NV Chad comes with a cheat sheet. You can trigger it with the leader key and CH. Here, we can see all the key bindings grouped under each plugin. We can refer to these key bindings to trigger different actions. Astro Vim or Lunar Vim configurations are designed as full-fledged IDEs. We have already made a video about Astro Vim, which you can find on the end screen. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.